Okay, so I'm Paul Mick. I'm an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. Uh, my subspecialty is otology, meaning ear surgery. The World Health Organization has identified uh, age-related sensory loss as the number two cause of disability globally. And uh, recently, my research group conducted a study in Canada to identify the prevalence here of both hearing loss, vision loss, and dual sensory loss um, among adults aged 45 to 85. It's not just on the prevalence and burden of disease, but of determinants of, of hearing loss with the idea that if we can identify potential causes that can be modified, then we can lower incidence and prevalence rates. All right, so how are you doing today? Good. Yeah, good. good. We look for um, downstream consequences uh, such as social isolation or even cognitive decline. Uh, recently, uh, there's been a lot of attention focused on ways to minimize the burden of dementia and cognitive decline in, in older populations. and. Uh, importantly, hearing loss and vision loss have been identified as, as important risk factors. And so we're uh, performing research to confirm these associations in the Canadian population uh, with the overall goal of identifying ways of preventing and reducing the burden of, of, of dementia by intervening at the sensory level. What we're trying to do is, um, yes, we're trying to improve um, interventions at the patient level. We're trying to advance cochlear implant technologies, but at the same time, we're, we're trying to make our communities more accessible to, to people with sensory problems who are older and contribute to the, the larger goal of helping adults age well.